Hi, Alan Stratton here from CostMatters.com. Much has been and can be said about good performance measures and performance incentives. Sometimes we need to look at a performance measure or incentive and see if we are encouraging behavior that is not what we want. Let me cite an example. I once worked for Atari, a video game company in El Paso, Texas. I was the controller. In our environment, meeting the production target was extremely important. Two weeks before the end of, of a quarter, we discovered that 10,000 electricity transformers were defective. Without these transformers, we could not complete our quota of game consoles for the quarter and ship them to customers. These transformers came from Korea and weighed several pounds each. Another tr shipment of transformers was in transit via boat and was scheduled to arrive just after the end of the quarter. Bummer, what bad luck and timing. Then someone came up with the idea of air freighting the transformers. With air freight, they would arrive in sufficient time that with a little weekend production overtime, we could complete the game consoles and ship them to our customers. With the shipment completed, we could invoice the customer and claim revenue also. Great! We could make our quota and all would be well. Performance incentives would be earned and paid. Just one problem. It would cost about $5 each to ship a transformer by air. This was more than the cost of a transformer and a significant portion of the cost of the product. Now, just a little more information about Atari at the time. Previously, Atari's business had been immensely profitable. We made so much money that our parent, profit, com parent company was rolling in profits. However, times had changed and Atari's business was not good. We were actually losing millions and millions of dollars. Losses, losses for the last three quarters had totaled over a billion dollars. That's B for billion. Now, we were not a bank and could not expect a government bailout. We really needed to make some money. As controller, I had to approve the air freight and, a, and the weekend overtime. With the size of the expense, I was reluctant to approve it. We were spending over $50,000 just to complete the game consoles about five days earlier than otherwise. It did not feel right. I did not want to approve the expenses. Then the general manager and production manager informed me that these units were for revenue. <laughs> these were critical key action words at the time. It meant that upon completion, they would be shipped to the customer and invoiced. This would help the company's financial picture, especially since it was the end of the quarter. It was legitimate. The company needed some good news and to look good. So, I relented and approved the expenses. The transformers were air freighted from Korea. The production workers worked the weekend and earned their overtime. As it turns out, that weekend was the end of Atari. Over the weekend, Atari was sold. My boss from California headquarters called to order everything stopped Monday morning and prepared to take a physical inventory. Later, when we counted the items in the warehouse, there were those same game consoles still there and with their very expensive transformers. They had not been shipped to customers, but the production quota had been met. With the sale of Atari, I actually don't know if the performance incentives were actually paid or not. The buyer reneged on many of the debts. It's possible that the transformer vendor was never paid. It's also possible that the air freight bill was not actually paid. Now, the lesson here actually is to look at possible adverse consequences of performance measures and performance incentives. Perhaps this was an extreme case, but actually I have observed versions of this in many different industries and companies. 
I am sure you have some stories that you could tell also. So, what's your story of a performance measure gone astray? I would appreciate it if you would share them below. To your business profitability, I'm Alan Stratton from costmatters.com. Thank you.